Hi guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my second uh, what I eat in a day for barley and it is going to be everything that I ate in a day in Ubud. So as you can probably tell, I am no longer in Bali. I'm back at home in my bedroom. It's kind of sad. Actually, the day I'm filming this, I got home exactly one week ago, which is sad. <laughs> Very sad. But yeah, the reason I'm filming this clip here and the reason the rest of my what I eat in a days are going to be filmed here is because I just did not have any time to film this clip whilst I was away. Um, the last few weeks were just such a blur, like they were such a rush, we did so much stuff. Um, so the vlogs are like looking awesome so far. But yeah, I just didn't have enough time to sit down and film this talkie clip whilst we were in Bali. And I also didn't have any time to edit, especially because it took about two days to get the video uploaded um, because the internet was very good. So yeah, that's why all the videos are late. Wanted to keep this video super casual, so I'm here with like no makeup on, a hoodie, um, which is a broadside hoodie that I got at Slam Dunk um, two days ago I went which is awesome and I'm not in my usual setup I literally have my camera wrapped around my bed um, because I didn't want to I couldn't be bothered to put like my big tripod up so I've got my little tripod wrapped around my bed frame but yeah I'm just going to be going through um, my day everything that I ate in one day in Ubud hope you guys enjoy give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's just get on into the day so just want to give a quick rundown of what eating out in Uber is really like so I found the restaurants in Uber to be like a lot fancier looking than anywhere else we stayed um, they looked like really posh, fancy restaurants, um, but the prices were still really low. I think they have some of the best places to eat. The food is so good. They do every kind of food that there is, pretty much, and it's all it's all delicious. Like it's all really good food and all still really cheap but really good quality. So starting off with breakfast. We went to a place, I'm pretty sure it's called Tropical Bistro, I think, I don't know. But basically they have another restaurant there called Coco Bistro and then Tropical Bistro, I think it's called, it's Tropical something, I'm just kind of assuming it's Bistro um, because they are like the same restaurant company um, and they almost do the same food as well. Um, but yeah, we ate there a few times for dinner and then we decided to go there one morning for breakfast and the breakfast is so good. Like they have so much to choose from. So I ended up getting a bagel which had like scrambled egg, tomato, avocado, which I usually hate avocado, but I actually found myself really enjoying it in Bali because they were just really like sweet. They actually tasted of something. Um, I find the avocados here in England don't taste of anything, they just, well they taste like soap. Um, so I don't like them at all but the ones in Bali are so, so nice. And then because I just felt like eating all the food I decided to get an acai bowl with that and this was just like a mixed berry one and that was really really good as well. I had like banana, strawberries on, it was super good and then with that I just got a orange juice and Whenever you whenever you eat out in Bali and you want an orange juice, it will pretty much always be like freshly squeezed. Um, if it's not, they will like usually say, "Oh, it's just from like a bottle," but it's pretty much always fresh, freshly squeezed, which is really cool. Okay, so moving on to lunch, we went to a Italian restaurant. Actually, it was called Uno. I'm pretty sure, and we had had dinner there before one night and we absolutely loved it um, so we decided to go for lunch and I had a meatball um, sandwich and it was really good like those meatballs were some of my favourite I've 
ever had. It was so good and it came with potato wedges as well and that was super tasty and then with that I got an orange juice as well and yeah that was my lunch it was really good. So finally for dinner we went to a place called the Payon I think it's called. That was probably one of my least favourite places we ate that week. Um, the food was still good however we did have to wait a long time to like be served which was weird because the restaurant wasn't like crazy busy like there were still empty tables around um, but we had to wait quite a long time to be served which I didn't really like but I ended up going for a carbonara and it was good pretty good like I had had a carbonara um, a few days before in Ubud and it was not good at all so I was a little bit scared to have one there um, but it was pretty good as carbonara's go uh, and then with that I got a mojito which I found myself drinking a lot in Bali like in the evenings my go-to drink was a mojito but yeah that is everything that I ate that day in Ubud but Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, definitely subscribe if you're liking this video and all the Bali vlogs because I've got a few more left to come. I think there's two more vlogs and two more what I eat in a day left to come. So yes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on those and I hope you're having a lovely week, day, month, year. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.